Endless water expands upon the horizon as far as the eye can see. Boisterous winds fill your lungs with a salty smell of the ocean. Little lifestyles grant as much freedom as life at sea. But not everything is calm and tranquil here. Ominous and monstrous beings live in the depths, looking to feed on and terrorize everyone in the surface. Tyrannical groups seek control over the coasts to dominate those who seek the liberty of the sea. That's why deities like the Wild Mother and the Storm Lord summon paladins to fight these kinds of threats. The Oath of the Open Sea Paladins The Oath of the Open Sea is a subclass created by Matt Mercer for the Critical Role campaign. This oath follows four principles. Every single being has the right to live their own life however they choose. It's one's job to always protect this liberty and punish those who take it away from others. Nature is ever-changing, but these changes don't come out out of nowhere. They come with signals beforehand and one should always be attentive to this. The future is uncertain and unexpected, so, just like water, one should always be ready to adapt and make the best out of it. The world is full with dangers yet to be discovered but also with unknown wonders, so one should always embark on the exploration of the world and oneself. As you might expect, the Open Sea Paladin gets spells mainly focused around the theme of nature, with combat spells like Cold Lightning, Control Water and Maelstrom, Hello but there. also spells that let you connect with the changing nature of the ocean, like Augury and Commune with Nature. Plus, you get spells to aid your mobility, like Expeditious Retreat, Misty Step and Freedom of Movement. Oh, also you get Create or Destroy Water. I mean, you are a water-themed subclass. It seems kinda obvious. <laughs> right from the get-go, you get two channel divinity options. The ability to create a cloud of marine fog that heavily obscures the area and cannot be dispersed by any means, and the ability to infuse your attacks with the power of waves, to push back your enemies and potentially deal them extra damage. When leveling up you get extra abilities, like emanating an aura that makes you and your allies immune to being grappled, to being restrained, and give you freedom of action while moving or attacking underwater, and being able to make an attack of opportunity that makes extra damage and has the possibility of knocking prone your enemy. At the highest level, you learn to summon the spirit of historic sea captains that grant you different abilities, like getting a climbing speed plus advantage on athletic checks, getting advantage on your attacks while solo tanking an enemy, taking the dodge action as a bonus, and advantage on all dex checks and saves, just like a barbarian. If you're maybe not into spirits but prefer undead lords, check out the Undead Warlock. The new Raven of Book is almost here, you might find this subclass useful.